Subnautica was originally released on January 23rd, 2018 on PC and Mac. It did have a early access period, I believe, for a couple years before then. It was released on PS4 and Xbox One on December 4th, 2018. It just was recently given releases for the Switch, Xbox Series S slash X, and PS5 on May 14th, 2021. The version I'm going to be talking about in this video is the PS5 version. It was received and continues to be received extremely well by both critics and fans alike, with it having an overwhelmingly positive review score on Steam. Subnautica is a survival game that puts the player crash landed on an alien planet that is mostly water. There are alien creatures that are either friendly or just plain terrifying. You have to keep an eye on health, hydration, and hunger in order to survive. There are also many equipment and upgrade blueprints to obtain to make your life a little bit easier. Before I get any further into my thoughts on the game, please consider hitting like and subscribe. I'm on my way to 1,000 subs, which means I can finally monetize my YouTube channel, which is just another step forward to making my goal becoming a full-time content creator reality. By the way, my name is Calf. For those of you who do not know me, for those of you who do know me, thank you for coming back and clicking on the video. I really appreciate you. Okay, so I'm just going to say it outright. I'm with the majority of people on this game thinking that it is a straight up masterpiece. This game actually does have a storyline. It took me about 24 hours to beat it. At first I was like, yeah, this game is great. But once you figure out what the hell is going on, that's what takes this game to the next level. Before I go any further, I'm going to tell you who I think will like this game and who I think won't like this game. Considering the fact that on my No Man's Sky video, I got a lot of, this game is pointless. I'm getting bored so quickly. I was so lost, I didn't know what to do type comments, which is fine. Not every game is for everybody. That's why I'm trying to get into this section. If you like games like No Man's Sky, Minecraft, The Long Dark, you know, pretty much exploration or survival games in general, you will love this game. If you require games to tell you exactly what to do, or if you don't like figuring things out slash looking things up, just skip it. Just skip it. You can just cut the video off right now. Still hit subscribe though and like, but just you can leave now. The game tells you next to nothing in the beginning of the game and heavily relies on the player to explore and figure things out for themselves. There's no quest journal or anything like that. You do eventually get radio messages that give you waypoints, but even then it's super ambiguous. The genius of this game comes from the fact that the deeper you want to explore and upgrade your equipment, you stumble on things that tell you what the hell is actually going on in the game. Also, if you don't like horror or terror games, skip this. This game literally made my skin crawl and scared the shit out of me regularly throughout my playthrough. Technically speaking, it's nothing crazy. The graphics are nice. The art design and creature design are top tier. The sound design takes this game to the next level. I would definitely recommend wearing headphones with this game if you want to like piss your pants because that dude, the sounds in this game are nuts. They, they are literally what they take it to the next level. Also, the original soundtrack is incredible i literally looked it up on spotify and i listen to it on a regular basis now it's so good now my biggest complaint would have to be the fact that the game is i i mean at least on ps5 it's really buggy it wasn't any like we're not talking about game breaking bugs we're talking about like stupid glitches like fish going into your base like swimming around when there's no water and i had a giant sea creatures swimming around in one of the alien bases that i was exploring so it was just kind of it's just kind of just stupid funny stuff and then yeah the the frame rate is not stable either even when playing on the ps5 it was not good there's a lot of pop in but regardless of all those issues it didn't ruin my experience with the game at all i kept after every session i was like oh my god i can't wait to get up in the morning or whenever I have free time and start playing this again and, and just explore like all the craziness that's going on in this game. I will say this, I don't like, I don't throw around the word masterpiece a lot, but I think it's, pr it's pretty close to a masterpiece. It's definitely in my top 10 favorite games of all time. That's all I have on Subnautica. Again, if you found this video helpful or just enjoyed it, 
please consider subbing and following me on all my socials. Links to all those are going to be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one.